Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm recording on my phone on the floor in front of my window because this is where the best lighting is. And I just got home from work. As you can see, I'm in my Orlando Health shirt because I work at, um, well, this one says Arnold Palmer, but I work at Arnold Palmer and William Palmer Hospital in case you were wondering. But I have brought to you a Bookcase Club subscription unboxing. Um, I just came home and this was on my bed, so I'm actually really surprised because it's July 31st and I'm assuming this is the August box, like, and I got the notification that it shipped today, so I'm like, that's interesting, um, and really fast. But anyway, let's just dig into this because I have no idea what's in here, as usual. Um, just in case you don't know, um, Bookcase Club is a subscription service where you get two books, um, they could either both be hardcover, one softcover, one hardcover, both paperback. I don't think I ever got both paperback. Or maybe last month I did. I don't know, but when I first started, I used to get all hardbacks, and now they're switching it up, so. That's nice, because, you know, I prefer paperback if you've been watching me for a while. Um, this subscription only cost me, like, $13 a month, so it's really cheap. And they're really fast with the shipping, so. As soon as you open it, first thing you see, books wrapped in piano yeah, tissue paper. So, there's two hot covers, right? No, oh, this is paperback. Um, and also, mine is thriller slash mystery or whatever I chose. I can't remember if you select multiples or not, because it's been a while since, you know, I've done it. But, um, anyways, I... As you know, if you've been watching me, I love thrillers and horror books and mysteries and stuff, so that's what I chose. Um, the first book that I see in here is so, it looks so cool. It's called Pop Goes the Weasel by M.J. Arledge, and look at the way the, like, first page is, like, on purpose like that. I, for a second I thought it was, like, ripped or something, but it's supposed to look like that. I hope you can see it. Yeah. It's, this is neat. I hope this is the first book in a series because I feel like this is a, a series. Yeah, one of the best new series detectives, so I'm hoping this is the first book. I hate when I get, like, the second book in a series because then I can't read it and I have to wait for me to buy it, um, which I have one of those. Um, I got um, The Silkworm by... I can't see the name because I'm blind without my glasses, and The Cuckoo's Calling is the first book. So now I gotta buy The Cuckoo's Calling in order to read that one. But anyway, back to the unboxing. Um, I'm just gonna read you the sentence instead of going into what these books are about because that's gonna take too long. And I'm really hungry. I wanna go <laughs> give me some food, so. Um, Pop Goes the Weasel. Amy would never shoot anyone, least of all Sam. She'd never even held a gun before. This wasn't America. Interesting. Um, this is a thriller, a Detective Helen Grace thriller, so that's nice. Um, it's not too long, 300, uh, 400 pages. Uh, the next book is a really big hardcover book. Um, has the White House in front of it. I hope that it's, I hope that it's not, um, political because I hate political things or anything that has to do with politics, but I feel like it's gonna be because the White House is on, is in the front of it. Um, but, as you can see, The President's Shadow by Brad Meltzer. This does not interest me at all. I'm guessing that's him in the back, so I don't know. Uh, the sentence that's on this card, uh, bookmark, you may never make peace with your father, but you can always make peace with yourself. Um, so it sounds kind of cool. I mean, it's a nice looking book, but if it's political in any sort of way, I am not going to be reading it. Um, President Shadow, there are stories no one knows, hidden stories. I find those stories for a living. Now that sounds extremely interesting, and my bunny is eating my carpet, so I'm going to have to end this video in like two seconds so that I can stop her from doing that. That's um, interesting. I mean, I'll... Whenever I start reading this, I'll, I'll like update you guys on my progress because I feel like this is probably going to be some type of political BS that I don't care about. But. And then it says Walmart Inc. Exclusive Edition includes bonus materials, so I'm going to have to do more research on this book to see what that's about. But out of these two books, I am excited for Pop Goes the Weasel because I like the way the book actually looks. Um, I don't know if it would interest me though, because I need to read a synopsis or something, or read somebody's reviews so that I can see if they like it or not. 
but as soon as this video ends, I'm going to go on Goodreads and find out the ratings on these books, and then I'll go from there. But um, I'm almost done with Studio Bones, guys. I'm so excited. I have like uh, less than 80 pages left. And then as soon as I finish, I am going to start City of Ashes. I'm like on a roll here. I'm trying. I'm going to like be consistent and keep on reading because um, I don't want to like take a break at all because I feel like I, I'll probably forget like what the series is about or what's going on. Um, but I really want to read the Harry Potter books too. So I'm trying to read those at the same time. Um, so technically I'm reading two series right now, and then, um, trying to finish up When Breath Becomes Air. So, I'm probably gonna do another video of my, like, reading update, or whatever. We'll see. Just in case you guys are wondering, like, how my reading progress is going so far in 2017. Um, between me and whoever's watching this video, uh, it's not completely bad, but it could definitely be way better. So, um, that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, I appreciate you so very much because without you, I wouldn't have anybody to talk to. So, anyways, I love you guys. Bye!